wanted to do a little cooking video for y'all kind of showing you uh, some stuff that we make on the truck that's really easy to make on the truck and um, I figured we could do a video throw a few of these in here and there so um, you can get an idea of some of the stuff that you can actually cook on the truck that's really simple and easy doesn't take a lot of ingredients um, what I'm making tonight is pretty healthy for you too it's cauliflower mashed potatoes the recipe calls it easy creamy cauliflower mashed potatoes so that's what we're gonna make Jason and I have been trying to do a low carb diet and this is one of the things I found that was really easy to make easy to make on the truck and very healthy for you and I love mashed potatoes any kind of potatoes so this is really really good and takes the place of um, the potatoes so these are all the ingredients we're going to use what we're going to use is we're going to use 10 ounces of cauliflower rice and I'll show you what that looks like basically what you're going to do with that is you can use a cheese grater or a food processor and I'll show you that I've already got some done so I'll show you what that looks like we're going to use one fourth of sour cream and you don't want to get any light stuff this is all full fat full flavor stuff that we're using here so we're going to use a fourth a cup of sour cream we're going to use three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream we're going to use three tablespoons of butter and on butter you want to get the organic unsalted grass-fed butter then we're going to use four tablespoons of parmesan cheese we'll use one fourth tea tablespoon or excuse me teaspoon of garlic powder two teaspoons of or tablespoons of chives and then we're going to salt and pepper it to taste so let me get this stuff measured out and we'll show you how to make this it's super super easy and again super healthy all right so i've got pretty much all of our ingredients measured out here that we're going to be using and i'll leave a link to in the description box below of this recipe that i'm using um, to make this so like i said the cauliflower you want it to be riced and i've already pre-done that here you can see that basically what i did is i used a cheese grater this cheese grater right here which is awesome because it has a little pull out drawer so when you're grating you can it goes in here and doesn't go all over the place and it also has a measuring cup on the side but you're gonna you can use a cheese grater and basically you're just gonna run your cauliflower over that until you get as much as you need and you can pre-do this that's what I did just to save a little bit of time um, I also I just bought a food processor just a, a small food processor processor um, to use to try to do this as well um, I haven't tried that yet and I do plan on doing a video of kind of all the cooking stuff that I have on the truck to show you kind of what we use to cook with um, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to take our rice and we're going to microwave it the rice that's already um, shredded up we are going to microwave that for five minutes we're going to cover it with a paper towel and microwave this for five minutes so we'll go up here let's get that out of there and we're going to put that right in there we're going to do five minutes so while that's cooking We've already got everything else prepped, so we don't need to do anything else there. We'll wait for that to finish cooking, and then we'll finish this up. All right, so our cauliflower is all done. It's been in here for five minutes. We're going to take that out, and I just put the lid, I kind of set it on top with the paper towel, just because sometimes the paper towel will come off. So, it smells really, really good, really good. So that's steaming. You want it to be soft, but still a little firm. You don't want it mushy. And that that five minutes in the microwave is just the perfect amount of time. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put all the rest of the ingredients in that we need to use. So let's do that. We're gonna add our heavy whipping cream. We're 
we're gonna add our butter and I'm just gonna kind of cut that up a little bit so it'll melt a little bit easier in here for us let's do that kind of get that down in there so that can start kind of melting before we blend this we've got our sour cream get that all in there you know Cooking on the truck is gonna one of the ways to save yourself a lot of money out on the road. If you can cook on the truck or you're willing to cook on the truck, believe me, it saves a ton of money. Truck stop food is very can get very expensive over time of days of eating it once or twice, three times, sometimes a day. So anyway, that's why I want to do a couple videos here and there to show you some easy stuff you can make and some healthy stuff you can make. So this calls for four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. I didn't pre-measure that. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it, put in how much I want. Um, that looks good. Then we're gonna do our garlic powder, which is one teaspoon of garlic powder. Got that. And then it says to salt and pepper to taste. So we'll just do a little of that here. And with this recipe, you know, you want to use a good salt. We're using the Himalayan pink salt, not just regular table salt. And then we're going to do some pepper. Get that ground up in there. Now this recipe calls to blend this with an immersion blender. That's what I have here which I love for the truck because it doesn't take up a lot of space and versus a hand mixer or a big food processor. You know, you got to think about that, the space you have on the truck. You want things to be as compact as possible so it doesn't take up a lot of room. So this immersion blender is awesome. It has two attachments. It actually has this attachment here that just comes off. And it does come with a whisk attachment also. So that's really nice. Has two speeds, high and low. We got this at Walmart. Um, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was like under 25 bucks. So it's, it's an inexpensive thing to have to help you make it on the truck. And you can use it for a lot of things to make. So basically what we're gonna do, we have all of our ingredients in here now. So we are going to put our immersion blender in. I do this on low and we're going to mix everything together. So when you blend this, you want to pulse blend it. You don't want to just go full speed at it. You want to pulse blend it to where everything is mixed in to the consistency that you want. So let's go ahead and do that. You kind of have to move it up and down. And that kind of helps get that all under there, mixed it in together. Get a little closer here, you can see that. You can see how it's coming into the consistency of mashed potatoes there. All right, let's see what we got here. Get that. Good. Now, once you've got that blend, you want to put about half of your chives in. And I'm going to add, I cooked a little bacon earlier, and I'm going to put a little crumbled bacon in just for some flavor. Add a little bit of flavor in there. The bacon I'm using, you want to use uncured natural bacon. And that's consistent, staying consistent with the low carb, paleo, ketogenic diet. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do about four slices of bacon, just crumble that up. And then we're gonna just take a spoon and we're gonna mix that in. Just mix that all nice and good together. And then, once you've got that all mixed up, you can take the rest of the chives and use as garnish. 
and I'm going to put a little crumble of bacon on top for some garnish as well. And there we go. We have the cauliflower mashed potatoes. And believe me, these are awesome. I never use a light cauliflower. And when we started this diet that we're doing the low carb diet, it's really a ketogenic diet or paleo diet. We tried this because like I said, I love potatoes and these are awesome. Um, even if you don't like cauliflower, you might like these. I would uh, highly recommend giving them a try. So again, I'll leave a link to this recipe in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a little something to make. You know, you can cook up a steak, some chicken breast, uh, anything you want really to go as with this as a side. So thanks again. Leave any comments or questions below and subscribe and share our videos and like our channel. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.